Cobwebs. The fear of what is to come. The loss of love I cannot describe. Love you cannot buy. Suffering for the actions of others. Ourselves? Always the last to know. The dust is thick everywhere. Where would I go? It would be the same. The people would be different. The atmosphere much heavier. Looking over my shoulder multiplies ten, caught in the middle of a million mirrors breaking, caught in this mess. Shadows run about the building, no living person really exists now. I haven't seen or spoken to Peter since forever. Have I never seen or spoken to this man Peter? And what of this Paul? Rebecca could be anywhere but here. I know I haven't left. Streets are dirtier, as is the face people wear. Best thing is that it is not me that has created this dirtiness. Maybe it has never been me. I perceive myself differently. No one is a better person. Not even I can be. I wait. $3.25 was everything Rebecca said to me. Peter, cursed he for cursing me. A weak man that will not show his face seeks not my friendship. Not my evidence. I dream that Peter exists. Rebecca, I have touched. Our hands have pursued delicate issues. We have exchanged more than money. This may never happen again. I hope not. Hope is not lost. She is most likely somewhere dreaming of me. Remembering all she has ever said to me. Making equations of love. Some things just never add up. Love is shifty. The thought of another having her as their own itches the inside of my brain. I shake my head about trying to throw these mutant conceptions elsewhere. Instead they cling to me like a terminal illness. There is no cure for lost love. I think about Darren and how he never liked me. Maybe he is lost somewhere in the city now. Lonely and lacking relevance. Looking skyward for salvation. <laughs>